After 3,360 kilometers, the 104th edition of the Tour de France reached its climax on stage 21. The Champs-Élysées marks the end of the three-week race as the Grand Peloton cycles into Paris. And having resisted a late challenge from Nairo Quintana on Saturday, British rider Chris Froome had all but written his name in the record books. Iman Abdulghani has the report. Paris beckoned for the Grand Peloton as 23 grueling days of cycling comes to an end on stage 21 of the Tour de France. Staying true to tradition, the Peloton's main mission for the day was to ensure the safety of the Maillot Jaune and it was accomplished as the Champs-Élysées greeted Chris Froome with open arms. The final stage sprint was captured by Andy Greipel as the powerful German clinched his fourth stage victory but the day and the tour belong to Team Sky and a tearful Froomey. The British team stamping the authority by winning their third Le Tour in four years. The 72 second winning margin might be the smallest in seven years, but Froome's achievement further underlines his dominance in the tour. On top of becoming the first British rider to bring home the yellow jersey twice, Froome also ends the tour as its king of the mountain, the first rider to achieve the double since the great Eddie Merckx in 1970. Yeah, I mean, it's just so special, so, so special, so emotional. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the guys have worked just as hard as I have for this. So. And as you say, you've been through so much the past three weeks, right here, right now, in Paris, all worth it. Oh, definitely, definitely, uh, 100%. Staying with cycling and the fourth edition of Taiwan King of the Mountain Challenge will be held on the 30th of October. The 105km route starts in the coastal town of Hualien and finishes on Hehuan Mountain. Registration is now open for all cyclists to participate in Asia's premier hill climb event. In the build-up to the tournament, the Road to Taiwan King of the Mountain took place on the 25th of July, where more than 200 cyclists challenged themselves on the same very route. French cycling magazine Le Cycle has named the route in the top 10 of the world's toughest races and is the only Asian route to feature. Last Saturday's Road to Taiwan King of the Mountain event allowed cyclists to experience the different route while also taking in the amazing beauty of the Takoro Gorge and Hehuan San. It tested the cyclists in distance, gradient and weather as they rode from sea level to the 3,275 meters above it. Deputy Director General of the Taiwan King of the Mountain Challenge, Liu Si Lin, hopes the event will attract cyclists of all levels. The reason why we organized the Road to Taiwan King of the Mountain is to encourage the cyclists who want to compete in the Taiwan King of the Mountain Challenge to experience the route and the challenges that it provides. The most important point is that the route is not just meant for the upcoming competition and the professional cyclists, but also to get cycling enthusiasts and amateurs to come and try out the route as well. I conserved energy by maintaining a speed of 80 km per hour and keeping my heartbeat at around 160. This was my strategy for the route so that if there were any cyclists challenging me, I would then use my energy to stay ahead. Near the new Bayang Trail, I heard a group of around 10 cyclists approaching, but I decided to main speed at 80 km per hour. They were about five kilometers away. Fortunately, no one caught up with me and I finished the race.